I often get asked what a movie that I like that a lot of other people don't like is, or what's something that is a guilty pleasure of mine. I don't like the term guilty pleasure. I call them comfort movies just because I think you should never feel guilty about liking a movie or appreciating a movie for what it is, no matter what movie it is. So I got what I would consider the holy grail of my comfort movies, and that is the HD Zeta Sucker Punch. It's number 751 out of 800, and this thing is packed. If I can, there we go. So it comes with, the case is really nice and embossed. That's embossed, this is embossed. It's got it on the top. That's the back of it. This artwork is stunning. I absolutely love the artwork on this thing. It comes with a steelbook, and I have a Sucker Punch steelbook, but it's not this Sucker Punch steelbook, so I was excited to be able to get this one as well. Although it makes me wonder how many Sucker Punch steelbooks are out there in existence. So we've got that with the spot gloss on the front, and that is just like I mean, look at that. Just got that on the back. It is just the one disc, but it is the extended cut on Blu-ray. Along with that inside. Let's see what's behind the disc. So there's not a whole lot going on behind the disc, but while I love the movie, that's not necessarily what this specific <laughs> There's even artwork on the inside. You guys can't see that, can you? Like, they put artwork on the inside. What? That's awesome. Sorry. Just having a little fanboy moment here. So there's this thing. Pretty thin little booklet. First and foremost, it has a card here with the... Yeah, you can't read it very well. 751 out of 800 there. Nice little, like, collector's card. But then inside, I guess I should have shown, it's got the same thing, the foiled sucker punch on there. It's got this really nice book, which I don't know how to, there we go. Oh, it's new. I'll just kind of skim through there real quick. Looks like just kind of like a, couple pages on each character. I am curious, if you don't like the movie, why don't you like the movie? Like, what is it about the movie that you don't, the layout of the building? What is it about the movie that you don't specifically like? That's the part that I don't, nobody can seem to, I had somebody say they don't like it because they don't understand it. Okay, I get that, but like, <laughs> just because you don't understand the movie doesn't mean the movie is bad and I want to do a comparison at some point side by side of the director's cut versus the standard cut because people are like well the director's cut explains everything and if it does that's great but I'm pretty sure what I've watched before originally in the theaters was just the original cut. It wasn't the director's cut, and I understood that completely fine, but I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong. I'm just curious. So it's got postcards, which like nobody's going to actually send these out as postcards, but I guess they are postcards. So I just, I adore this artwork. If we know who did this artwork, please let me know, because I would love to see more of it. Like that baby doll. Then we got Amber's there. And last but certainly not least, you've got Blondie's. So yeah, I mean, I've always been a huge fan of the movie. Oh, I didn't show that. Even on the back, it's got another picture, but I just wanted to share that because this has always kind of been a holy grail of mine, something I've looked for. As always, if you guys want to, you know, like, follow, thumbs up, subscribe, do that whole shebang, I appreciate it because I am trying to do more content here. So 
I try to keep the videos at about five minutes, which we just hit. So I'm going to say goodbye and appreciate y'all.